Kapoor aur Arhar Dal blood sugar friendly This is part 5 of a series where I'm testing how different pulses affect my blood sugar to find the best options for PCOS and insulin resistance Today I'm having 40 grams of tur aur arhar dal cooked with just a little bit of ghee I'm tracking my blood sugar using a continuous glucose monitor so let's check my readings after a few hours So here's what my CGM recorded My blood sugar rose by 42 mg per dl and returned to baseline in around 2 hours. With insulin resistance, my goal is to keep my post meal spike under 40 to 50 mg per dl and return to baseline within 2 and a half to 3 hours. In this case, it was a moderate spike and just slightly on the higher end of my target range. In my previous test with yellow moong dal, my glucose had spiked by 53 mg per dl. This time, the spike was noticeably lower, making tur dal a slightly better option for glucose control. So why did this happen? All dals are rich in complex carbs with around 60 to 70% of their calories coming from carbohydrates naturally causing a rise in blood sugar. However, tur dal has a bit more fiber and resistant starch compared to yellow moong dal which helps slow down digestion and sugar absorption. In the coming videos, I'll be testing my glucose readings with other commonly eaten dals to compare how they impact my blood sugar. Let me know what you think in the comments below.